This playthrough is rated T for teen. Well, let's not do that again, shall we? Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another episode of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. In the last episode, we explored most of the castle and decided to just go after Belmont. Or, well, actually, Dracula himself. But we found out that it was Richter Belmont who was the lord of the castle. And he did it because he wanted Dracula to be around so he could be the hero forever. Oh, very selfish of him to do that. It didn't seem like that Dracula X and Rondo of Blood, but uh, I don't know, maybe things just change after so many years. But anyway, yeah, I'm not going to go forward this time because, yeah, if that leads to a bad ending and an abrupt ending to the game if you decide to kill Richter. Uh, because you're like, wait a minute, the Belmonts have never been like that before. Although that would be an interesting twist to one of the games if you if one of the Belmonts did become evil and you had to fight him because they decided to uh, forsake their like duties uh, to fight Dracula for all eternity. But they never decided to do that, which is fine. They don't have to do that. That would have been an interesting twist, or at least make it to where... Actually, was there a game where they had a, like where a family member couldn't do it? Or no, maybe they didn't. never did. I'm trying to think if they actually had one where like maybe a family member should have done it but he usurped his job so like a younger brother or someone that took over instead so but anyway so we're going to complete this place by uh finding out why richter's doing as he is but first let's head back to yeah let's head back to the beginning because we want to get an item an ability there uh near the entrance to the place and that'll help us well one complete the map uh but two it'll actually get us a little extra few extra goodies on our way there. We just have to run to the front, though, to get it, so... Onwards! Back to the beginning! But luckily, there's a few shortcuts to get there. And with the... Obviously, with the soul of the bat, I can just... Um... Uh, oops. Keep pressing, keep pressing the wolf button for some reason. Don't worry, the wolf will have some uses. Sort of. Mainly just for 100% completion. I'm only doing this because I don't want to mess with the... Well, I thought I could get a further enough into it. So I don't have to deal with the zombies. They don't give enough experience at this point anymore, so. so might as well just uh, ramshackle through them if we can. But also to uh, get this one area we couldn't get to before. Uh, let's grab the item first and then we'll go that way. So, yeah, we have to go to the entrance. Oh, a cloth tunic. I don't think I've ever shown that one off. It's just a random drop from my zombies or blood zombies can drop it. Um, yeah, simple cloth tunic. Uh, 23 intelligence. Woo. So, yeah, not that special. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of rare drops you'll get won't be really useful, especially depending on when you get it. If you do that one trick where you could, uh, I forget, if you do the name of the, the, the save from Rondo of Blood, you can start your, you can start Alucard off with 99 luck, and you probably have higher chances of, uh, um, uh, getting it, so... All right, let's, uh, yeah, I probably should defeat the owl creature first, or his, his night companion. There we go. Now, there's something, something so sad about that. Bunch of hearts, and some money. But anyway, the reason we've got up here is, well, one, life, as you can see, but also, the power of the wolf. Or skill of the wolf, depending on which version of the game you're playing. Let's take a look at that. Run swiftly as a wolf. Hmm. I see. What was that? We could run before. That looks like we could run faster now. Yeah, we actually run through things now. Look at that. Yeah, we get a pot roast for for running through that so yeah now you can now you can turn the wolf and charge through enemies so you can go through certain maps a little bit faster because as long as you get running speed running speed you can uh, just uh, run through the wolf so no sonar didn't do anything here and we got a new enemy here the uh gurkha gurkha kamehameha Actually, I could have turned into the wolf to avoid them, but I'll do that on the way back. Oops. Oh, I didn't really do that. But fine, whatever. All right, let's uh, heal ourselves. Yeah, we just we just started. We don't need to save yet. So. Let's 
too early for that. Actually, it's always good to save. I just, yeah, don't need to right this second. Oops, I get the cross. All right, here we get the Holy Mail. Let's take a look at that. Holy Mail, strong against holy attacks. Ooh. But we don't need to worry about that right now. I think there's only like a handful of creatures in the game that actually do holy attacks. Yeah, kind of weird that a game like this has creatures that are considered holy. You think they would be uh, uh, holy because you know they work for the Lord of Darkness or whatever, but uh, all right, well. Charge on through to the other side. Okay, so now that we've got the skill of the wolf, or power of the wolf, I mean, so let's go back. Let's see, how are we doing on relics? I've got quite a few of them. Yeah, we're missing, uh, missing a. Yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see, three. Nine? Okay, nine of them, so. All right, now that we've done that, let's go. Let's see. Yeah, we need to go back to that one area where, uh, quite a few areas we could go to. Uh, let's go. I'm trying to think what the fastest way to be there would be. We'll have to get something in that spot anyway, so let's go the the original um, spot. Oops. Okay, need a bit more of a run time here. There we go. Nice. Actually, can I? Uh... No, I didn't think so. I was thinking of something there for a second, but. Oh, right. Bad it up. I don't know why. Maybe I've just got wolf on the brain. Because now I'm like one to turn to the wolf form every other second now. I don't know why. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's go forward. And... There. We want to go back to the catacombs area. Because that's the closest to where I want to get one item that I missed from before. It's back behind a... Uh, 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 an uh, illusionary, or well, not illusionary wall, just a wall I forgot to attack. It's one, it's, it's a wall that you could have, uh, uh, kept going into, but I wasn't paying attention, so I stopped attacking it when I was supposed to. And weird enough, I think I kept trying to attack it afterwards for whatever reason, but I guess I wasn't close enough to actually activate the, uh, the other wall that was supposed to be there, so. Oop. Ah, come on, summit. There we go. Yeah, you don't even drop anything worthwhile anyway. I'll need to look over item drops just for, for fun purposes, just to show off uh, which ones you might want to try for if you could. And yeah, having the power of the wolf makes things a lot easier, at least when it comes to... Okay, there's the room I'm talking about. Oops. Yeah, if you keep attacking, you can get right here. But anyway, we got peanuts, 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 and some sake? And a picture of Dracula? What? Barley tea and the power of sire. So apparently someone was eating, like, uh, bar food around here or something like that. So let's take a look. Peanuts, difficult to eat. Uh, use uh, barley tea. Cool barley tea to use for healing. And the power of Sire damages all enemies. Huh. Okay. But yeah, that's one of the doors we could go through, so. Okay, so let's head. Let's head, uh, probably go back to, well, we could go. Yeah, it's about the same either way. Let's just go back through the water area. Boss gauntlet. No! Your jump's not sitting. Actually, I think technically the wolves can get like a, a, a quick jump, but. Ah. Yeah, I'll have to go up 
this way. Yeah, technically I don't have to do this. I can I can get the items I need to uh, uh, go to the next area, but uh, yeah, transform. Why would you do that? Let's see. Can yeah, I don't have that ability yet, so uh, this would be perfect to go into if I have the. There's one uh, one more ability I need. Uh, I was mixed up uh, when I said earlier about the skill of the wolf. That's actually a different ability. I, I forgot I was mixing up my knowledge on here. So uh, we will be back here when we get that. So I wanted the wolf one because I wanted to uh, be able to run. Let's see. Yeah, I want to get. Okay, yeah. I want to go, yeah, the next round. Oops, I need to fall down, so. Actually, well, I do want to drop, actually. Well, let's get the other item first before I do that, so. Let's fly. Yeah, remember this area where we, uh, I said we need the a different form to get to, because for some reason I thought I could make that jump at the time. Fly, 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 fly. I guess a little spot there if you're out of MP or something like that. I probably would have been better to go top first, but yeah. There we go. Yeah, now we're inside this area. There candles everywhere. Do not jump to drink. Just get the claymore weapon for for here. Let's see what this does. Claymore, Scotch two-handed sword. Ugh, I'll kill the man who calls it a kilt. But yeah, but unfortunately it's a two-handed weapon, which I don't like those because they're too slow. Now at some point in the game, if I get super high level or whatever, then it wouldn't matter the sword because then you know I could afford to get hit or whatever. But for now, I want something that's either quick or at least medium. Um, uh, whoops. I want to hit all candlesticks once. There's no achievement or anything based off that. I just I just want to hit everything once just to make sure I was checking all my bases for stuff I might have missed or whatever. I like attacking the walls, you know. Alright, what do we got here? Meal ticket. Meal ticket, meal ticket, meal ticket. A lot of meal tickets. What are we? What, what are we living on? Food stamps or something? We also got the moonstone here. Let's take a look at the meal tickets. Meal tickets. Mystery food ticket. Uh, I think it. I think it randomly generates a different food source every time you use it, if I remember correctly. Anyway, we also got the moonstone. Improves stat status after sunset. So this is a time thing. So in this case, it's after sunset, so our stats go up. But if that ever changes, our stats will go down. Alright, let's go this way. So we'll take advantage of it for now, but after a point, we'll have to uh, drop it when the time of the game changes. Alright, save that. Alright, let's see what's in here. Ooh, hello. What is this? It's different from the other ones. Perhaps a different type of sleep? Mother! That voice! Alucard, it's you! I'm coming, Mother! I'll save you! No, Alucard! Don't come here! But, Mother! It's all right. If my death can save others, I gladly surrender my life. Mother! No! Please, no! Yes, Alucard. Watch me die, and remember always my last words to you. Yes, Mother. You must despise humans. They are to be your prey. What? Better for them to die than to let them compound their sins. Begin by slaying that one over there. No, it wasn't like this. 
What's wrong? Alucard! My mother never said such a thing! What do you mean? Kill them and bring them happiness! No! You're not my mother! What kind of demon are you? <laughs> you broke free of my spell! I like that! Demon! Death is too good for you! Come here, little boy, and show me what you've got. Alucard might be older than you, lady. For boss time, against the succubus. So yeah, she's part of the uh, um, nightmare scenario. That's that's what that little safe spot was, was we would go into a nightmare scenario. At that point, the skeleton would stop attacking him. Or her. I could, can't really get to her. Anyway, at our level, yeah, we can't wreck her. Darkling, I smell your blood. You're a vampire? Could it be? That strength, that beauty. You're the son of Lord Dracula. Death in the dream world will set your soul wandering for eternity, demon. Wait, I beg of you. Man, she must have really liked that dying there because of her voice. Oof. Anyway, we get the gold ring for defeating the succubus and surviving the nightmare. Inscription, where clock? Hmm, there is a clock room in this place. But uh, I feel like we're missing something extra for that. But let us continue on before that. There are some other places we can, we can fill out before we uh, continue on. So let's get out of here. Yeah, kind of weird. Uh, like, what would you uh, like? What would make you? Uh, the only reason you want to click on that thing is because it looks like a save spot. Maybe you accidentally click on a thing and like, oh, that's another save area. But you know, for those who play games, when you see something like that, you're like, I don't want to walk into glowing uh, 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 purple things. You know what I mean? And wolf dead drop, baby. Death from above. All right. Let's uh, let's see. I know there's an easier way to do that, but uh, yeah, we need to destroy this here. I think I could have done this before, but I, but the thing is, we wouldn't have been able to get very far. Oops. Wouldn't be able to get very far without a without a certain item, which you'll find out here in a second. Yeah, if you come here without the the merman statue or whatever, the fairy one won't be here. So. And we wouldn't be able to pass this point because we can't swim at the moment, so we will be able to eventually. But for now... Whoa! Ah! I forgot to duck there. Nah, I'll get on the way back. Yeah, take care of them, ghosts. I'll, uh, get back to you later. Whoop! I forgot to duck again. <laughs> ah! As long as it's foot water, I'm fine, but if it's anything deeper than a foot, Alucard gets all scared. Wham! No, I'm just kidding. Thank you, fairy man. Uh oh. Ah, we can just do it. Ooh, what the? What's this? The holy symbol. Let's take a look at that. Ah, let's see. No, it's a relic. I don't know why it looks. Holy symbol, protection underwater. So yeah, now we can actually uh, protect ourselves underwater. So now we won't like drown. Uh, <laughs> I like how the holy symbol is basically, let me show you. It's basically a snorkel. <laughs> Before we do, yeah, see, I, I wanna actually drown this time. So now we can actually fill out this whole areas. I guess I should have done that first before I went to the, the wolf one. Yeah. I'm always bad about like uh, kind of figuring out a good like, uh, I don't know what's the word. Uh, let's just go back to the fairy man just to spe speed through it. There is a way to go through this a bit faster. Um, uh, there's a ver there's a skill of the wolf thing which allows you to basically uh, swim, but so you can move through the the uh, through it a lot faster. But all right, 
using it too. Actually, do you need it for the, the doorway thing? No, just because. No, we'll let, we'll let him go on ahead. So. Yeah, there was a faster way to go through this, but I don't have that ability yet. I think it's called, like, Skill of the Wolf or whatever. We won't get that for a bit. Onyx. So we can sell that for later. Now I'll have to go to those, back to those old areas just to 100% them. So, uh, yeah, a lot of this episode's going to be me uh, kind of cleaning out the map. And the places I missed the first time through, so... Got a knuckle duster here. Dust them knuckles, boy. Yeah, it's a fist type of weapon. Let's take a look. Iron studded brass knuckles. So, a bit weak, but uh, as you can see there, but but I will not put them right now. So, okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's go back to the previous area so we can go to the water there and go back to the air first area so we can finish that off. I just want to show me 100%. I mean, I could easily just tell you I'm doing this, but, yeah, you know, I'd rather show you. I mean, it's a let's play anyway, right? Not a, not a, uh, I mean, if it's a walkthrough, it'd probably be the same thing, but. Okay, I just need to go. Drop through here. Yeah, you can tell that the people who made this game had a had a very weird sense of humor when it comes to it, because you know Castlevania is usually like pretty. Oh yeah, the fish heads are basically just a just a underwater version of the uh, dragon heads or whatever you want to call them. What's this? Nunchucks. Nunchucks. How'd they get here anyway? You know, is it? Aren't nunchucks actually not weapons? Like, they're actually not a thing, but people keep making them out as if they were a thing. But anyway, uh, two-handed uh, weapon, but uh, not going to use it. I might show them off later, maybe. Um, like, if, if anything, they're supposed to be representative of farmer's tools, but they were never a weapon. Or something like that. I remember reading up about something like that like a long time ago. I'd have to really look it up. Don't, I mean, don't quote me on the whole not being a weapon thing. It's just I, I could swear I remember it. It's not, like, it's not an actually viable weapon. Just people use it in movies and stuff like that because they think it's cool. But that's pretty much it. Yeah, if you want to think it's cool, that's fine. So Michelangelo no longer exists as a turtle because of that. For those who... Actually, technically, in the um, European version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they actually uh, cut out Michelangelo because they didn't want to show him with his weapon, the nunchucks. So, in the... In the uh, in the European version of the show, Michelangelo never used his weapon, and he always used, like, if he did attack with or help his brothers, he always used something weird, but never his nunchucks. So he's almost considered the most worthless turtle in that version of the story, because they never let him use his nunchucks. Which is kind of funny. Anyway, I got a life up here. Alright, how are we doing? Yeah, we're going to go a little bit further there and clean up that part of the map. Go back to the beginning, finish that part off, and then, uh... And then uh, get the other item that I went through the whole ep whole previous episode to get. You know, the uh, the spike dart or whatever. We will use it. Yeah. I have a hard time hitting down and attack. Got, got another knuckle duster. Huh. Wait a anyway, minute. Now that we're not going to get hurt by the water, I can get this pentagram. Even though it's not really worthwhile to get it. Alright. Okay, I think this is the other part. Yeah, this is the other part of the map. Let me drop down here. Ooh, we get some secret boots here. These boots were made for walking. That's just what they'll... Wait, how did I miss one? Huh. Oops. Well, that's... How did I miss that one spot? Hold on, let me go back up. <laughs> Did you see the question marks on the, the, the ghost? It's like, hey, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Let's see. But, uh, maybe. There we go. Okay. 
some reason didn't consider it part of me collecting her for some reason. So anyway, the secret boots. Discreetly increase his height. What? I think I, I, I actually, I think, hold on. Let me, it does, I, you know, I thought, I thought I remember that actually doing something. Yeah, it makes it slightly taller for some reason. Okay, let's continue forward so we can go. Oh, oh yeah, that was talking about this before. Yeah, we are taller. Is this is this boot? <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I forgot this game has quite a few joke items in it. Like, there's no point to being taller other than just saying you're taller. Now, like the little detail, if you're walking through the water, you, you know, like, or if the ice lady dies and then she uh, freezes the water a bit, so you can see ice uh, kind of coalesce on you. Summer you this time, Mr. Dude. Uh, let me just walk through the water. And fall down here. It's kind of uh, interesting to be able to uh, just walk through the water, even though if it's not very fast. Okay, is that. Nope, not quite. Uh oh. Got ourselves a nasty little creature here. Let's uh, kill it for posterity, of course. Killer fish. Tasty fish. Okay, I think that's it for that. Okay, so next on the list is the other gray areas we have we weren't able to access before. Uh, let's see. Obviously, the end area. There was one area I explored and I forgot to show off. I think it's up. Yeah, it's in the it's in the uh, um, uh, the one the the ones uh, uh, I forgot his name, Orkland's uh, uh, area or whatever. Uh, there's a room I uh, forgot to walk into. Uh, when I was messing with stuff off screen, I, I accidentally walked in the room and I was like, whoops. I forgot to, uh, I should, I accidentally activated a room without showing you on the viewers what it was, because I never actually went to the room. I thought I did, and then when I was checking my notes, I'm like, oh, I never actually walked into the room. Huh. Very disappointing that I did that. So, I mean, I guess I could have reloaded an old save. But... Okay, what's the fastest way? I guess walking, really. Because of, yeah, okay. Just gonna have to walk towards it. You can hang out in the water. So there's nothing. I don't, actually, I don't even think there's anything worth worth being in the water for here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, nothing. Just uh, just mermen and their mer mer ways, you know. It's one of those. As soon as you learn the ability to double jump or whatever, that the 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 or if you uh, bust the hole hole open through the wall there. Oh wait, now I don't even need to. Well, too late now. Probably just as fast with double jump, but probably about as fast as if I would did it in bat form. Yeah, we'll just have to kind of zip in a zoom through this thing as fast as we can. Swift it now. Quickly, quickly, I run. And there are a few items to get this way anyway. I know there's, uh, I have to go back into one area where, um, I think it was like the cathedral or whatever. There's a few items in there I could re get now that I have a bat form. Um. Oops. Haven't been back in this way in a while. Although most times you, there's no reason to go through we go through these these uh, door doorways or whatever. Oops. Right, yeah, there's that one spot up here that I couldn't get to before. I gotta stop transforming to the wolf. I guess I'm hungry like the wolf or something. But anyway, there's a, uh, a lightning stone here. A cross. Yeah, this is the place where if you want to get a specific uh, sub weapon, you can come here. And what do we have here? The skill of the wolf. 
So this is the one that allows us to actually run through the water. So let's see, skill of the wolf, special moves of the wolf. But basically we can move through the water at full speed. So kind of too late after I already went through the water, but yeah. No one's no one's gonna pay attention to that. No one's gonna notice and, and bring it up on, on, on occasion to me, right? Right? Now we'll we'll need it later actually. Just just trust me on that one. Kinda of weird how it is to just, you know, skim through a level after a point. Like, right, man, before it was a challenge. Now I can just jump through everything. It's like some weird some just something weird about that, you know what I mean? Oh right, I forgot you didn't uh That was a pillar there. <laughs> forgot about that. Yeah, let's just bypass everything. Fly, Mr. Batman. Fly! No, 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 no. Batman. Or Bat Owl card. Bat card. A Bat credit card? I think the idea of Batman having his own unique credit card is kind of dumb, to tell you the truth. Even though I've watched Adam West Batman before and I'm fine with that stuff. I guess it depends on the context. Anyway, here we get the bat card. <laughs> I told you. Uh, so, let's take a look at the bat card. Let's see, where is it again? Oh, I guess it's the uh, bat card. There it is, bat familiar. Sorry, I don't know why I looked at the items. Yeah, now we get a bat companion. Look at that. Now we're complete. Oh, yeah, if you turn to bat form, the bat uh, gets a little hard symbol on it. <laughs> and then when you transform back, the bat's like, huh? Yeah, I almost feel bad, uh, like, ruining uh, the bat's, bat's uh, fun. So, okay. Let's just go back this way. Yeah, bat, bat gets into love, love mode again. Kind of reminds me of, uh, uh, was it, uh, Sword in the Stone. I actually like that movie. A lot of people don't talk about that movie anymore, but uh, it was an anime movie by Disney back in the day. It's basically a, uh, um, it's basically the story of how what King Arthur did before he became King Arthur. It's a very simple. It's almost like a slice of life movie where it never gets epic or grand, except maybe at the very end of the movie. And there's a specific scene where um, uh, Merlin's trying to teach Arthur about like. Um, uh, just a uh, just different life lessons, so he can be to basically prepare him to become king. This is before Arthur knows he's going to become king, by the way. And uh, um, anyway, we get a Mystic Pendant on this thing here. Um, anyway, there's a scene where he turns turns him into a, uh, a, a squirrel, and a female squirrel falls in love with him. And ooh, we get magic missile. I'm attacking the darkness. And uh, anyway, yeah, the squirrel just like falls madly head over heels for him because it's a squirrel. They live on instinct, so you know, finding a mate and procuring the species. Anyway, we got shark in here. Is top priority uh, for the for the squirrel. But then at the end, he, she finds out that uh, um, he's not actually a squirrel, and she just sits there all depressed and runs away. And she basically kind of cries at the end. It's kind of depressing, actually. You're almost like, oh, I feel so bad. What did I just watch? You know. You know, those unrequited loves, but yet it's a squirrel, a, to a squirrel, and a boy transforming into a squirrel. You're like, you don't want, you don't actually want that to be a complete story, but you're still sad for her in the first place. But anyway, get some, yeah. Alright, Morning Stars. Oh, I think it showed off what it looked like. Oh well. It, it, it is what it is. So, Morning Star, it's a flail weapon, spiked iron ball, similar to the uh, shield rod with how it attacks. TNT, throw it to create a pillar of fire, does a good amount of damage. Boomerang, uh, throws a boomerang. Uh, if that's it, okay. Oh, uh, wasn't there another item I grabbed too? Uh, the Mystic Pendant. Increases in pre-restoration, which is really nice. And healing item power is improved with the Ankh of Life. So if you you know eat something, it'll heal it faster. So, uh, yeah, let's get rid of the boots. I don't need to be that tall. <laughs> okay. Next spot is the gray blocks over there. Yeah, 
going. Yeah, let's keep giving that heart heart to the uh, let that bat be 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 uh, confused, very confused. Yeah, attack it, bat. Yeah. I'm not sure who the most useful companion is out of all out of all the uh, out of all the creatures. It's kind of hard to say, like which one gives more more use. Because the fairy will heal your afflictions, but you don't get afflictions too often in the game. At least I never notice it. Um, okay, just one more. Okay, that one's full. Then back this way. Uh, no. Oh, that's probably what happened last time I got hit, so I didn't actually complete the uh, the uh, block there because of the stupid crow. Okay, here's the spot where, yeah, it's this spot right here, so. All right, let's uh, equip the uh, spike breaker. Yep. Yeah, we just walked through the stuff, so. Oh yeah, I guess the way to show it off is I could have gone through, I could have equipped, yeah, when I, oh, hello, Mary, Maria. So, did you find Richter? I don't know if he's the one you're looking for, but I found a Belmont. Really? So he is here? But the one I saw was the enemy. He was the lord of this castle. Th that can't be true! You're wrong! I, I, I must go now! Well, I'm sorry to tell you the truth, lady. But anyway, we find a silver ring here. Let's take a look at that. Silver ring. See, the gold ring says, where clock? The silver ring says, where are you? In tower. So we need to go to the clock tower before it gets struck by lightning. But anyway, last episode when I almost died to the spikes by going backwards, I could have equipped this, the uh, spike guard and just walked through the spikes. I don't know why I didn't do that. You pro Probably people were watching and probably going... Why did he transform to a bat? He could just walk through the spikes now that he has the ability to do that. Sorry, I wasn't. I wasn't thinking. I was drunk with power. Uh, okay. Yeah, we just need to go back. Um, let's see. Yeah, I guess just go back to the middle. Is there really no faster way to get down there? Well, I need to go back through the one um, one way because I forgot to show off a uh, a, a room I missed. Actually, no, it was in the Coliseum I'm thinking of. Never mind. Um, yeah, it was in the Coliseum I missed. It was, it was, I had to go just a little bit further and I would have shown you the call, I would have shown you the, um, uh, the room. But for whatever reason, I just, I didn't go further. Just a little bit further, I could have shown you. But I'll show you the room anyway. I didn't, I, I made sure not to grab the items that were in the room just to uh, show it off. So yeah, I'm kind of. I kind of wish I had accidentally walked into it. Like, oh. okay, let's see. It is just. Yeah, I think it's just down and forward actually. Yeah. You are off. Like keep, keep doing that. All right, here's the room I'm talking about. Anyway, he drops a nat natto for you know healing himself in the springs and a green tea. So that's all that's in this room. But I want to show that off. Okay, so I need to go. Uh, there's no. Too bad you can't drop down from this room. That would be faster. Although if I go forward, I'll I'll end up in the clock room anyway. So. So I guess it was fine that I went this way. The next book I write will be a, uh, uh, a, uh, ar a knight and his owl. Actually, isn't there technically a story like that called a uh, night hawk? Except it's about a girl who turned into a um, hawk. So, yeah, it was, see, it was about, it had a, oh, what was his name? Uh, not a comedian, he was a, crap, now I'm trying to remember his name. Oh yeah, now we can control the elevator now that we've finished the section. Um, 
it was Ferris Bueller, but I'm trying to remember his actual name now. Um, it was one of his earlier roles. Uh, but anyway, he plays a squire to a knight. Uh, knight's trying to save his lady, and then... Uh, then something happens, and she gets cursed. And, uh, and the whole journey is to basically uh, uncurse her from being a hawk to turning her back to a woman. So um, the two, the knight and the squire, have to... Or is he a squire? It's been forever since I've seen the movie. I remember liking it, but I don't... It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. It was like when I was in a teenager. And that was like 30 years ago or something like that. I'm old, folks. But I'm not super old, but I'm old. I'm old! I'm what you call a boomer. Actually, would I be technically a boomer? Maybe? Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, just go forward. Also need to unlock the other area of the of this place too while we're at it. So, but first, all right. Now, if we want to uh, unlock the next area, we have to equip the silver and ring. There are two things in the world that bright that glow brightly in blue. The one is silver, and the other is gold. That's when we unlock the next area of this place. All right, let's, uh, I don't think I have to keep it equipped either. I can equip back something else instead afterwards. So, put the moonstone. Now, if we want to be extra powerful, okay, so it takes off 24 is how much defense. I thought it was the same as the attack, but I wasn't sure if you want to raise our strength by a bit. Only have two, two attack or two defense though. Um, uh, I guess the pendant or whatever. Yeah, we don't have to equip it. Or at least I don't think we do. Does it reset if I unequip the rings? I'm trying to remember if you actually have to keep them equipped or not. Well, it doesn't look like it, so we don't have to keep them equipped or anything with that. So good to know. I Sometimes I'll forget a little... Oh, I just realized I, I missed a block. Do you see like back, back in the area where I had to... Somehow I missed that. You can see it's not clear. Oh, that. Well, I. You know what's there, so I'll just I'll get that part off screen. You can see it back there in the where we uh, broke the wall and uh, dealt with the ferryman. For some reason, there's a block not filled in. Oh, that bugs my OCD, like really badly actually. But anyway, what's here? I wonder. Right, we got life up and a max part. All right, awesome. Yeah, just, I was looking at the map, make sure I got everything, and then I noticed that. I was like, what? How did I miss that? But you saw you saw me. I just I guess I just didn't go far enough there to unlock that little spot. So, hmm. That must mean there's a boss around here. Let's see what it takes us. Or who's there? This is fun. Creepy. Oh, it's like a weird pyramid or something like that. Look at that. Or an inverse pyramid. What the? Alucard? That voice, Maria? I'm sorry. You were right. He has joined forces with the enemy. So it was a Belmont after all. But someone must be controlling him. Whatever we do, we can't harm Richter. But he must be stopped. I know. Well, here. Take these with you. What are these? If you wear these, you can see beyond evil illusions. Thank you. Tis best then if you pray for the soul of your friend. Yeah, the whole reason to go here was to see Maria. What? Really? How'd you get here? 
I need to wear special rings to get here, lady. But anyway, so uh, yeah, Maria is uh, Richter's sister-in-law, I think, because of the whole uh, marrying Annette. I, it's assumed they got married anyway. But Annette never makes an appearance in this game, so we don't know what happened to her. She assumes she's just waiting. Well, it's been like so many, so much time has passed. Six months or whatever since Richter disappeared, or or not six months. Was it six months? Anyway, so but uh, she's probably just waiting to hopefully he returns. But anyway, we don't know. Um, but anyway, the uh, holy glasses are uh, yeah seem to be on magical curses. So hmm, interesting. Well, they seem pretty nice and hoity-toity, but I don't know if I want to wear them. They seem a bit, uh, not very fancy. So, okay. We've got some time. So we need to... I want to finish, uh, completing this place before we do anything else. So, okay, let me fly back up here. Because technically we can now go encounter Richter, and we're actually technically done with this spot. But... Yeah, it was kind of weird that we could, uh, um, that there was a safe spot, yet there's no boss there. Weird. Hmm. Nah, yeah, it's probably nothing, right? Uh, let me save really quick. All right, let's go on to the next part before we, uh, finish this. Okay, let's, uh, get the rest of these places. So, um, you're, now you're probably wondering to yourself, what is required to get the, uh, other side of the room here? You think it's based off time? No, we actually need an item for that. Um, let's see if there's one around here. I thought there was a, like, uh, uh, I could get one around here. I might have to go back. I should have grabbed one earlier, but, um, eh, not there. I'll have to drop the cross. What is in this room I could get? I might have to, might have to look it up or, or just find it and come back later. Um. I swear there's one in this room. Probably not. I'm not misremembering. There it is. Ha, huh, gotcha. Okay, I need a stopwatch is what I need. So, and I got plenty of hearts. So, yeah, this one's one of, one of those cases where it doesn't straight up tell you, but uh, the reason kind of makes sense when you, like, when you think about it. Um, really? Um... Like, what, why it's needed to open this spot up, so... Yeah, as long as you have a stopwatch on, it'll open the other side of the clock tower. Okay, and then some of the rooms I'm missing are just stuff I just locked past and just forgot that I needed to check them out or whatever, so... Alright, activate the stopwatch. Yep, yeah, moves that, and it'll be there for as long as... As long as the stopwatch is active. Or if you're past the spot, so anyway... Here we get the a la carte shield and a heart. Yeah, finally, this is where our shield went up, wound up at. And we also get the a la carte mail and sword. Yeah, so finally got our weapons back. So this is where death threw him. Where did death go anyway? Man, anyway, let's take a look at the a la carte sword. The family sword. Oh, not as powerful as I thought. But hey, I'll, uh, eh, I'll show it off. Yeah, see, now it's super fast too, so... I mean, the combat daggers are technically at this point better, but, uh, you know, something to think about. Anyway, we've got the Alucard shield. Not as much as defense, though, unfortunately. I've kind of gotten to the point where I've got better stuff than, uh, than like, what I started with the game with. The only, and the Alucard mail, its big thing is it's resist, it says resist fire, lightning, and ice? Question mark. So it's actually not that great of a, uh, item to equip anymore. Now the, uh, spike, uh, now the, uh, walk armor is better. But hey. We could have gotten this earlier if I'd remembered about the, uh, the stopwatch. I'll admit at the time, I'd forgotten about the stopwatch being useful here, so, oh well. Well, it made my journey a little bit easier. Whoops. Anyway, let's go up here. Oh, and I noticed another thing I missed too. Look at the very far left. You see that gray block? Yeah, I can't believe I missed that one too. Uh, I'll get that one off screen because I, you, I, you know where that is. Okay, so I need to go, uh, well, after, let's grab these first and then we'll... There's actually a couple of items I've missed, so. But we'll get to it when we get to it, so. All right, here we get the gravity boots. All right, let's take a look at these. The gravity boots, where are you? The gravity boots, where it can jump high. High? High. Yeah, we, get, we can jump a lot higher now with just our standard jump. 
why would we need this when we can turn it into a bat and all this other stuff? Well, there's there's a reason later on, but for now. Yeah, we got a hammer, life apple, life apple. Okay, life apple it is then. Hammer, uh, unpetrified familiar, use uh, familiar only can use it. And uh, uh, life apple heals the heals the familiar uh, can only use it. So yeah, I like the fact that there's some items that only familiars can use and it makes it interesting. Okay, let's see. Um, I was hoping that would be open. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of which way to go, so. Okay, so there's a open area, or there's a room I missed to the left um, a bit. Let's see, one's near a teleporter, but I can't access a teleporter right this second. So I'll go to, uh, do I really have to go the long way around? I might have to. Yeah, unfortunately can't use the clock on that. Ugh, that's, that's actually kind of annoying. I could find, uh, really, I guess we do have to walk around. All right. But yeah, off screen, I'm gonna go back to that lower right, back to the, uh, where I found the holy symbol to fill that up. And then I'll go back later to fill up that other area to the right or left. So, um, okay. We also need to go back to the library. I could have gotten this, that item, uh, that room a long time ago. It's just another case. I just forgot at the time, um, how to access that room. And there's like, uh, two items. Uh, last time I, I didn't show off the save, but last time before I started this episode, it was like at 87, like 0.5% or something like that of, uh, of the, um, of my collected stuff. Or like 100%, of the, uh, like almost 100% of the room. So, and when we find 100%, they will be saved. Nothing, nothing will stop us now. I could have transformed to the wolf to speed through this. Oh well. I seem to do that quite a bit, where I just keep forgetting I have I have this wolf ability. So, okay. So yeah, we'll just keep going straight. Yeah, it's kind of weird how I've missed so many like random little rooms that I could have gotten the first time through. That seems to be always the case, even if I'm, I'm generally aware of it, I'll still forget it. Yeah, we'll keep the watch for now, maybe I can take advantage of it. Although we're at this point, we're at such a high level. That we don't need to do that. I could transform to the wolf again. Okay, so it's this... No, we worry. Never showed that off that room, did I? Yeah, we got that. Oh, I was, I was hoping there'd be something else there. Okay, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, I guess I'll fill up that little spot, spot while I'm here anyway, so. I was thinking for a second I would I, I didn't need to go that way, but now I do because that one... I probably could have waited for that door to open. I probably could have fa fast forward and just cut to when that door opened, so that way it'd save, it, save me some time, but... But, you know. At the time, I wasn't thinking. Yeah, but yeah, we're almost done with this episode. I'm trying to make a, a trying to fill it up as quickly as I can so I can uh, get to the spot I want to end it off on. There we go. I just didn't go high enough. I hate that. Okay, wait a minute. If I can, if I can get the wolf here. Like, can, can I speed up fast enough? That was like it. Go wolf. Bam, right in the wall. Uh, let's see. I need to go up. So. And also, when I go to the library, I could show off a, a trick that's in the library, too. 
The only problem is it takes a long time for that for that trick to activate. Oops. So it's kind of inconvenient to do. Let's see. Oh no, I need to go. I need to go down. Well, there's a there's something you can do with chairs if you if you have an Alucard sit sit in a chair for like ah uh, oh we got lucky. I actually didn't expect him to. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, there's also a chance. Um, I might have to leave the room and come back, maybe. There's a chance for one of those ghosts to actually give me something and not attack me. Let's see if I get lucky. Yeah, he's kind of like, hey, hey, I gotta get him. Okay. I seem to be getting unlucky. There's a chance for one of those guys to give you a grape juice. If you, uh, if, um. Maybe you have to do something specific. I think, I thought it was random. That you could, uh, that you could get a grape juice. Yeah, we're being a confessional here. Or maybe it's when we're sitting on the other side. If you sit, if Al Alucard sits in the spot for like a minute and 40 seconds or something like that, he'll actually fall asleep after a point, so. You gotta just keep crying, lady. Could tell me your sins and all that, or tell me your husband died or something like that. I forgot if there's a time on how long you had to wait and see if she does anything else. So, okay. Nope, I guess I can just leave it at any point. So, let me see if anything else happens here. Nope, it's the lady again. Okay. We'll try that. We'll try the cleric again just to make sure. See if I can get anything else out of it. Yeah, I see okay. Well, anyway, I I know so, one of the people can give you a um, a uh, grape juice for doing that. So okay, so I need to go back the bottom way. Ow. Okay, so complete that. So this might be another long episode. So that's fine. Actually, I might need a, uh, might need a high, uh, a certain weapon. Oh, wait. E yeah, okay. Never mind. Oh, good. I think I should be able to do this with a, uh, with what I've got. I might be wrong. I might need another sub-weapon, a different sub-weapon for this, though. I think it's around. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I think. Yeah, I think I need uh, something specific for that one. Okay, let me come back. Let me see if I can find like an axe or something like that. Uh, yeah, I don't remember ever seeing a sub weapon in this place. I thought there was an axe around here not too far off, but I could be wrong. Hmm. Eh, let me see. Actually, maybe let me try a, let me try a specific weapon, see if I can get that to work, because, I mean, the axe would help, but I might be able to do it with, uh, um, whoops. Oh yeah, I forgot to show off that that's how you use the gravity boots, by the way. You have to do, uh, uh, down, I think it's just down and up um, gets that to happen. So, um, oops. yeah, we'll see. Pretty cool. Um, there's another ability I forgot to show off, which is the bat form. I don't know if I can really. I'm not very good at showing it off. It's basically. Um, well, yeah, I showed off too. It's like it's like a quarter circle forward or something like that, and you can um, um, have the bat uh, dash. Um, but I seem to be pretty bad about activating that ability, so. There it is. Okay, let's get that one. I 
nice little, nice little secret around here. All right, here we get the Holy Sword for that. Let's take a look at that. Uh, Holy Sword. Cross hilt, sword strongest and undead. Ooh, it even has a, does a decent amount of damage. Uh, over, I mean, still not as good as like uh, the, uh, was it? Uh, where'd it go? There it is, combat knife. Well, actually, it is better than the combat knife. But I don't think it cr doesn't crit as much, but it hurts. Yeah, we'll use this for a while, why not? Okay, so next area is actually above us. So we need to go back, go into that area. So I need to go around. Okay. Not bad. I'm so used to the speed of the. Uh, of the combat knife. I might just go back to that for. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Now let's get out of here. Hoping I make that jump. And yeah, we'll have to do the whole rod trick again. So, yeah, I was thinking that there was an item that I could use to like uh, kind of save me uh, that could uh, hit that for me. But I was looking for an axe. But I was like, you know what? Maybe that would work instead. So, got lucky on that spot. So I just need to go up a bit further. Go into this area. Yeah, good thing we unlocked it. Let's see, there's another... Oh yeah, there's a another secret I remembered uh, just a moment ago. Um, I forgot you have to do something very weird to do this. I don't think there's any way to like, really know to do it other than just luck or you know hack the game or read a guide or something like that. And obviously, when I was a kid, I probably didn't even figure it out on my own. I probably used a guide. I wouldn't be surprised. But anyway, there's a spot up here as well. All right, here we get sword cane or sword card. Sorry, I don't know why it said sword cane. Right, let's take a look at that. Uh, sword card. Yeah, summons the sword familiar. Let's pull that off. Yeah, just a big, a big old sword, huh? Okay, so before we complete this, um, I want to go... God, I really wish there was a closer room for the, uh, the teleporter. Because um, I need to go... Let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll just go to the one, the teleporter to the right there. Okay. Maybe as uh, the wolf will... Man, so awesome. Wait, did he say something? I thought I thought someone said something. Like uh, the sword said something, or maybe Alucard said something when he ran into the wall there. Definitely faster than uh, the uh, bat. Yeah, that's why you want to be able to use that, so just to speed up things a little bit. Okay, there's that teleporter. Okay, let's go to the teleport on the left side. Left bottom side. Right, where'd you... Okay, yeah, that's actually where I wanted to go. Yeah, you see in front a couple of squ uh, screens. Um, that's where I want to go. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's another room I just kind of forgot to keep checking. You know what I mean? Oh, right. I forgot to equip the combat knife. Where did I put you? God, I got too much crap. I don't even use half this stuff. You know? Where did I put you in a comp? There you go. Yeah, I could have gotten this a lot earlier, but I just keep for I kept forgetting about it. Anyway, there's a life thing in here. 
getting there and that HP and everything with that. All right, let's go back to the entrance again. Another thing I, I just remembered. Wolf. Actually, let me go back. It's easier if the zombies haven't performed yet. Okay, let me transform. It's here. I need to transform to the bat, or to the bat, and then halfway through, then transform to the wolf. I might have done it wrong. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, this room opens up. I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out. But yeah, so I don't even know if this has to be that combination. But anyway, we got a life apple and a jewel sword here. Let's take a look at the jewel sword. Transform enemies into jewels. Hmm. See if that how that works. If it works. Ooh. Yeah, when you hit them, it gets all sparkly. But they're not transforming into jewels. Well, it's still. Oh, there we go. Finally. Yeah. It could possibly turn into like money, stuff, zirconiums, and stuff like that you can sell. Um, so that's a way to get money. Okay. So now, other than that one, that one little block, um, I think that's it. Other than going to the library, and then we'll we'll call. Well, obviously we're not gonna call the episode yet, but I mean we'll in a second. This is gonna be a long, another long one. Not super long, but long enough. Man, I love fast wolf. Yeah, Wolf wasn't very useful until we could go fast. And then it got useful. Oh, come on. There we go. Eh, well. Eh, close. Alright, let's go back to the teleporter again. Maybe I should leave the jewel sword on, because I can I can kill most stuff with at least in this area within a couple of hits. That way I can get a chance to have stuff I can sell if I want money for things. Even though there's a more effective way to get money, but yeah, it's a fun way. All right, where is this one? Nope. I will go, I will use that one to get that one, one spot. In, there it is. Okay. Get that one room. I could have done this a long time ago. I just kept forgetting to, to uh, do it. What? I don't know, I, I keep expecting Alucard to save blood every time. Okay, yeah, it's that one room where, um, like, there's only a chair and a bookcase. I don't know why, I could swear I tried pushing on the, on the, um, door, or the bookcase. Ah. Ow. Trying to get through this as fast as I can. So. Okay. Whoops. Actually, that'll save me some time, won't it? <laughs> well, save me some time by using the pocket watch. Yeah, I was trying to be clever there, but. I'm getting pretty lucky with these drops. Oh, there it is. Flash. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, we said flash. I think that was the sword talking. Oh, whoops. Wrong. Right. I think that's the sword talking anyway. Doesn't sound like Alucard's voice actor, but I could be wrong. You know, he's like, a, he's like the magical singing sword from, like, uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit or something like that. It's taboo, I know, for sure. Or however the song goes. Hit them, sword. Be, be better than what you are. Alright, finally we can finish off this part, and then we'll... We'll be at pretty much 100%. So there we go. Yeah, you just have to push it for a little while. Okay. Anyway, here we get the topaz circlet and the holy rod. Okay, topaz circlet restores HP by poison damage. 
And then, uh, I should do one. I guess we should go ahead and equip this now. And then the Holy Rod. If I had gotten it earlier, it would have been a really useful weapon. Because, yeah, it does a decent amount of damage. Um, but I didn't, so there you go. <sighs> anyway, yeah, if you sit there for an hour and 40 and, uh, and, uh, on any chair, Alucard will fall asleep. I think it's an hour 40, something, something like that, anyway. So, yeah, probably could just chill it. It'd be just as fast, I guess. Still, I don't want to fight them if I don't want to fight them. Can't blame me. Can't stop me from not doing that. Keep going forward, even though I've been in this room 20 billion times already. Super Sword could be useful. The only problem is it takes a minute for it to basically get in a position and attack, and by that time, I've probably left. Sir, taking your time is what is what we call the, the, the book, or the sword. Ow. Just have it. Alucard just run into stuff. There's something funny about having him do that. I don't know why. Just like bam, 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 bam. Alright, get to that teleporter. And go see Alucard again. However, we'll do something slightly different this time. We all have a different advantage because uh, she gave us those glasses. Perhaps it'll help us see the darkness or something like that. I don't know. Oh wait, I didn't even check to see that. Oh, that, that's the that's the way I want what I wanted. So. Oh, I can use the boots. That's a lot faster. If you can actually pull it off. Oh, what? Never mind. I don't need to go in this room. So I thought the because there's a bit of the built a uh, bit of the. Oh wait, I actually need to save it anyway. So. Now yeah, we have to fly anyway. So yeah, there's a little bit of this uh, this top bit that I didn't didn't fill out as you can see in the next area. There's uh, some blank spots that I missed. I just didn't go up high enough. Okay, I should fill that out. Yep, okay, that's cool. Okay, let me go save it really quick. Now we should be at the end of the game, right? We'll, 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 uh, we'll, uh, defeat Victor with the help of these glass, or Victor. We'll help uh, defeat Richter with the help of these glasses, and maybe he'll sh have Dracula show up, and we'll fight him. And at the same time, then we'll call it the game because that's that's it. That's 100%. The only thing I'm missing is that little corner over there. We've gotten everything. Everything's done, right? So that should be it. So prepare for prepare to fight. Oh yeah, there's like one other. Let's see. Uh, I think I need the. Rod for this as well. Maybe I need the. Uh... Can't really hit it from there. Oh, come on. Is that spot or is that... Oh, there it is. Hot. I just had to hit the switch there. Anyway, yeah, there's a uh, stairs up here. Yeah, like in all the, oh, well, not all of them, but in some of the Castlevania, especially Rondo of Blood or Dracula X, there's that secret, secret, uh, um, actually, let's, uh, put the knife again. And we got a Frankfurt, a pot roast, pot turkey, a sirloin. Yeah, just like, uh, actually, I think in the Rondo of Blood, it was just like money or something. Or no, Dra Dracula X, it was just money. 
Resist Dark, Resist Stone, Resist Holy. Do I really need all this stuff against uh, Alucard? Hey, let's take a look at the Platinum Mail. Uh, Platinum Breastplate. Yeah, unfortunately not as good as the Walk Armor, just because I've 100% of this place, so... Alright, let me go save it again, since I hit the switch there. Yeah, the switch was uh, right here, so... Save it one more time. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably could have been a bit more efficient with this playthrough, to tell you the truth. Either that, or I could have done multiple smaller videos, like where I just cover a section of the of the level or something like that. But yeah, so many people have done that in the past before. I might as well just do do whatever I want, just to play it, play as I want, as is, and enjoy myself along the way. All right, what do we get? We got the holy glasses and everything, so let's do this. All right, Al uh, Richter, show us what your dark secret's holding. You're probably not even Richter, are you? I've been waiting for you. Answer me. Why is a Belmont planning the resurrection of Count Dracula? Count Dracula rises but once every century, and my role is over. If I can resurrect him, then the battle will last for eternity. If those are your true feelings, then so be it. Alright, All right, time to fight Richter again. What the? What is that ball? What's that ball doing there? Huh. That's nah, probably nothing. It's probably there to distract us or an extra enemy, you know. So let's just keep fighting Richter like we always did before. Yeah, ignore, ignore, ignore the orb. Magnificent, but now feel my unbridled wrath. Hydro Storm! <laughs> what was with that sound effect? It was like high pitched or something like that. Hydro Storm! Ah, <laughs> oh, that's such a cheap attack. Oh, nice to heal. Got him. It's over, Belmont. So the war between humans and vampires finally ends here. What need for the shepherd when the wolves have all gone? My time on this world has come to an end. So you made it. Alucard! How is Richter? I'm sorry. I see. Thank you for stopping him. Do you suppose that this too was fate? So your journey is over as well then? No. Not until I learn what caused Richter's madness. I understand. Well then, may the gods guard you along the way. Farewell. You as well, Alucard. Goodbye. And thus, even with uh, finding Maria and uh, and her giving us the glasses, I guess it just wasn't enough to save Richter from whatever madness overtook him. That weird ball thing that there was just was just hanging around him, just giving him power. Could we have done something about the ball? Is the is Richter's madness actually preventable? We'll find out next time in the actual true second half of Castlevania Symphony of, uh, Symphony of the Night. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.